Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are going to be doing a bit of a furnish today. So, um, I've already built this house obviously, as you can see. It was just kind of something I did one night. It wasn't like planned or anything. Um, I guess it was sort of planned in a way because I was doing it like off of a reference, but it wasn't like planned for this save if that makes sense because it's like the save file that I showed in my last video. Um, so yeah, this is just like something I built one night and then I was like, oh, I kind of like this and I kind of, you know, went around and like did the landscaping and stuff like that. Um, I know that this is going to be a pain. This is one of the things when I was building it that I was like getting the sims to like go up and down the stairs is going to be a lot. I feel like especially if you have kid sims, um, but I just really liked the way that it looked. Um, so I kept it. Um, and it was also based on um, a photo. If I can find it, I'll try and put it up. But um, yeah, like I said, it was based on a, a Pinterest photo um, or just like a photo that I found on Pinterest. And um, it had those like really long kind of stairs that were like tiered and they like went up to the house. And I just thought it was interesting. I don't see a lot of like houses like this um, in real life or in like builds that I see other people doing. Um, in general so I, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do something a little bit different uh i actually did not do these columns right at least i didn't put them over here so let me just let me just put that in the right position oh there we go yeah that looks better um and yeah i think it's nice i also did this one that's next to it um after i did that one uh whether that stays or not is uh is up for debate like i'm not really sure if i want to keep it i did already like kind of do the floor plan and stuff of that house but um yeah today we're focusing focusing i said that really weird we're focusing on this build for today and so i did do like a rough draft of kind of what the inside would look like um like the floor plan and stuff like that and um just because I didn't know how to do it with like the leveling and how it's like, you know, a basic house on this um, level and then it goes like down to this kind of basement level um, that's above ground. So yeah, I just did like a garage here on the side. I put a little like camper van thing in there. Um, and then there's like obviously a door that goes into the garage and then there's this room here that comes from the upstairs and then there's another room over here which I was thinking could either be like, um, I guess this would be like kind of like a general room just cause it's comes like down, like it's open to the upstairs. Um, and then I think that this room could be like maybe a spare bedroom or a storage room or some kind of activity room or something. Um, so that's what this uh, downstairs area is. And then there, I did put like a side door that goes from, or sorry, a back door that goes from like outside of the garage. So that's also here. Um, but there is access to like go down to this like yard area from the upstairs as well. I put like a patio or like a deck or whatever outside. And then there's like stairs that go down. I'm not sure about this orientation of the stairs. I don't know if I want to like turn it this way and then obviously move the pond so that you can like go down or if I should just leave it like that. Um, I don't know if I can shorten these. It's mainly just like the way that it cuts into the wall here I don't really love that much. Um, but yeah, maybe I can just like move it back a little bit if it'll let me do it. Here, if I put the grid on and put it back that way maybe. Okay, oops, I think I need to build this fence here. Yeah, maybe that looks a little less weird. I would honestly just put it all the way this way, honestly. I think that would probably look the best. I don't know why the railing looks like that. Okay delete this and then just kind of put this okay yeah maybe that looks better just so it's not clipping into the wall there because that kind of bothers me i probably would have to move this tree a little bit um yeah obviously like there's this stuff over here it's kind of lumpy because i put um the terrain up um 
so yeah it's kind of like weird here but i was planning on doing like a bunch of landscaping like rocks and stuff to kind of hide this and like go around into like the backyard area so hopefully it won't look like weird like that um because there's like obviously like tears in this area as well where the terrain goes up but i just kind of covered it up with bushes and stuff um so yeah i'm probably gonna do like landscaping and like rocks and stuff on the side so it's not so strange looking um but yeah let me go back to the floor plan i got distracted by <laughs> moving the stairs um so yeah this is the the i guess like ground level floor then if you go upstairs this is like the main entrance at the front door and the stairs that go down to the basement are here i could probably change the color of them um but yeah just to like match the uh stairs or sorry the flooring here i don't know what brown they're kind of it's kind of dark I'm not sure i mean it doesn't look that dark i don't think we're gonna find one that matches it perfectly but that's fine because that's life um and not everything matches 100 percent see if i can find a railing that kind of matches um i love these like this railing set it's by um kkb and i just have to have it in my game now because like the like sets that come with the game like the railings and stuff like they're just so large like, look how big this, like, one, what's it called? Column or whatever? Um, I know there's a name for it, but I can't think of it right now, so I'm just gonna call it a column. But, like, it's huge, and, like, it doesn't make any sense. So I just like how much smaller these ones are in comparison. Um, and yeah, so I'm, I've been kind of using these. They have this one, and then they have this kind of, like, basic one here that's nice and small and i just like prefer the way that they look so that's what i'm probably gonna use but yeah so there's these um there's these stairs so front door sorry if i if i'm not making any sense it's because i did not have a good sleep last night um i had a bit of a rough time uh sleeping so i'm gonna sound a little bit um off does that look- is this gonna look weird if I delete that? Like, if this isn't here- because it looks kind of weird with this, like, random column. Because there's, like, obviously this goes in just, like, by one tile. But this doesn't. So is that- is that fine? I'm pretty sure- I lived in a house that had a porch that kind of went around like this. And I'm pretty sure they had- like, it had a piece like this going up from where the stairs were. So I think it's fine. I think that's okay. Sorry. I keep getting distracted. My brain's, like, not being focused today. Also, something that's bothering me is, you know how, like, you can change the light um, temperature and, like, the color and everything um, with, like, the build by and, like, tool mod and stuff like that? It's, like, not working for me anymore. And so when I, like, shift click it, which is like usually what I would press to like change it, it like doesn't do it anymore. And I'm so sad about it. Um, cause it means I have to get like sims on the lot in order to change the lights and I don't have a sim on the lot. So I might end up having to do that at some point if it bothers me enough. Cause I can't change the temperature and like color and stuff of the lights and it is really bothering me. <laughs> so, um, I am up to date on Twisted Maxi mod, so I'm not really sure what it is. I don't know, um, if they know that it's not working. Um, I just feel bad because people bother them all the time, <laughs> so I don't want to, like, go and complain and be like, hey, like, this isn't working, but it isn't working, and I'm, I'm kind of annoyed by it, but that's okay. Um, I'll just deal with it and then see if anyone mentions it at some point <laughs> to them, but anyways, um, this is, like, the, I think I was gonna make this the kitchen, that's why I kind of just placed those items there. I just do that when I'm doing floor plans sometimes to be, like, okay, this is this room and this room, so I know where things go. So I think this is gonna be the kitchen, the dining room, and then the living room is over here. And then this goes out to like that deck area. Um, and then there's like a small kind of like powder room bathroom here. And then if we go upstairs, there's a big hallway. I put this like little kind of laundry station, um, like in this kind of like area over here. Oh, I didn't paint the wall. Um, but yeah, I put this like little thing here as a little doorway that goes into it and then um this is a one bedroom here a very big bathroom some closet space another bedroom closet space again 
and then um i was picturing twins in this room so this is like the twins room and they have their own like powder bathroom so it's only or i guess it's a half bathroom so they have like a half bathroom here so it's gonna be a toilet and a sink and then they have their own closet there as well i was thinking that this is the um like main bedroom um at least i think that's what i was gonna do maybe i was gonna move it to this bedroom was the main bedroom um but yeah they share this um big bathroom here so i think in total there's three bathrooms i don't think i have one on this floor so there's just gonna be three um so it's like i guess two half baths and one full bath maybe i should make this a full bath like actually have a shower in it maybe i might do that just so they like have because if it's like four sims in the house and that's it would be nice to have another shower at least you know for gameplay and stuff like that but yeah so that's what the layout is looking um like right now i could move this i was just looking at this actually i don't know if i can i mean i could but then it's gonna have this weird blank space here but i was thinking like if i wanted to maybe make this be on this side instead um so that this kind of space is open and then there's the door here I think the reason why I didn't do it this way is because this is the um, kitchen area. Um, and if I move the door into this room, it would be going into the dining room and you're not supposed to have, it's like a rule in like interior designer, like floor planning and stuff that you're not supposed to have a door like from a bathroom inside of the dining room and the kitchen for obvious reasons. Um, yeah, just for like the stink and everything. So that's tends to be like a rule so I try to follow that when I'm building um, and not have a door from a bathroom that goes into like any of like the eating spots of a house. Uh, so I might just like, maybe I'll just make this a hallway instead. And then there's like that door to the bathroom inside of the hallway at the end of the hall. Maybe that is better. I kind of like the way it looks with the um, stairs, like the railing showing um so i don't know i don't know if i should leave it like that or not hmm i was kind of struggling with like what room to place where because i was gonna make this the main like living room area but it gets light in the morning and i like to put morning light in kitchens and then um like evening light in living rooms because like usually people you know at the end of like a work day or whatever in a school day and they come home and want to like relax i just picture like that they would want kind of natural light coming into the room that they're spending the most time in so i wanted the living room to have that light for evenings and then i always like to have the kitchen have the light from the mornings um it really doesn't matter but i'm my brain just works that way so that's kind of how i like to do it and that's why i put the kitchen over here it is going to be pretty big um unless maybe i like divide it into things like that and then have this be like a hallway like this kind of thing it's like a walk area and then i can put where is it this little fence that i like to put down where uh yeah this one from get to work i like putting this fence down because it looks like the you know like the little like mini like metal sometimes it's metal or sometimes it's made of like a plastic kind of thing but they put it between like um differentiating floors in houses and stuff like that um so i like to use that for just like defining different like rooms or like floor spaces um what if i just like took this out and then just blocked oh well i guess i can't because the window is there unless i move these in closer together and then i would put wall there actually that still kind of digs in to the window because then it would be like a hallway that goes down there i don't know i'm second guessing myself from what my original plan was i have a bit of the hiccups right now so if you hear me hiccup no you didn't <laughs> um hmm trying to figure out what we would put here like we could just put a hallway table we could put like a little hallway table there 
especially because there's like when you walk in the front door i guess there's not going to be as much like space for like somewhere to hang your coats or whatever like if we did like a bench or something so like, like you put on your shoes i guess we could put like a rack in this corner so you could hang your stuff there and then a thing to put your shoes on because putting a table here i mean you could put a table here actually like we could put a table there could put a table there and then have like a stool or something in a corner so if you want to put your shoes on there's like a little stool and then this maybe like houses the shoes and stuff um and then we don't really have anywhere to put a rack unless i move this over and then put a rack in the corner um i just got a little leggy there for some reason and also i like to have mirrors at the front door so you can look at what you look like before you leave Um, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Put like a mirror in here. And then maybe a stool in this corner. Uh, the lighting is bothering me and I'm probably gonna have to change it. I knew this was gonna happen. I should have put a sim in here so I didn't have to go and do that before I started recording. But here we are. Um, it's a little plant. I think I prefer this layout, honestly. Um, we can put like a rack somewhere else though. Like I can kind of shove this into the wall a little bit. So you can still put on your shoes and everything. You can move this over a little bit. Um, and then put like a rack here or even put like a stool here and then have like the rack on the other side let me actually get a coat rack so I can visualize this for a second let me see do, 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 do. use this one Oops. so we could do a rack in this corner and then a little plant a little guy I don't hate that I think that's fine and then you have your little stool and you can put your shoes on right there and then we'll put like a little rug we put a couple shoes that are kind of like out I think that maybe like this opens and then um, you get your shoes out of there but some people in the house just kind of like leave their stuff at the door. That's nice. Okay, and then we can have a like welcome mat kind of thing. Yeah, that could work. Okay, so I think that's kind of like the front area. I think like, I could make this an espresso bar or something. Maybe they like coffee in this house. And, like, we could put it there. We have to move this over a little bit. We could just kind of shift it a little bit. And then have this be like a, like, bar thingy for, like, Maybe your microwave and your like, what's it called? Wait, where is it? Oh, this thing. Maybe they're like fans of that. Where's the um tea? Where's the tea thingy? I mean, we could do like, this is like the tea brewer thingy. Yeah. We could have that kind of vibe going on like a little bar thing over there or we could leave it like that but then maybe put like the family board up there if we leave this here I just don't want it to be too repetitive because this is already on this wall um so that's just what I'm thinking I just don't want it to be like the same thing hmm it's either that 
this. I mean, I'm not sure. Let me move this away for a second. Hmm, maybe we'll do um, the kitchen. Maybe we'll do the rest of the kitchen for first and then should I use this one? I don't know what kind of kitchen I should use. Is that kind of gray one? I feel like I don't do gray kitchens like ever. I don't know why. I mean, I guess gray is not really my favorite color, so that's probably why. But I don't do a lot of like really dark kitchens. I think because like when I was a teenager, I grew up um, like in a house with a really dark kitchen and I didn't really like it. <laughs> it's kind of like, I don't know, something about it's kind of depressing to me. Especially when you just like first get up in the morning. Sometimes it can look really like chic and stylish and stuff. I think maybe it's just like how much lighting you have in your house um, and like how you're styling it. I think it can definitely work and not feel depressing, but the way it was, was felt depressing. So I don't think, um, I think that's why I don't tend to do it as much, but like, that's okay. I know that these are different countertops. I was just seeing which kind of countertops I like more. I think these look like, even though they're supposed to be like, um, bathroom cabinets or whatever, I think they look almost a little bit too like modern in here for some reason. Um, and the tops of these ones kind of match with the tiles that are in here. So I think maybe, I think maybe I'll leave it here. Let me just move these over here for a second and then I'll put the counters over here. Oh, truly would be failing that no mistakes build challenge because I constantly make mistakes and place things where they shouldn't be. Whoops, I just don't the light. Um, I think that's fine. I'm not a huge fan of the way this corner is looking. I almost feel like it could be shorter. Where's this, yeah, this thingy, this little built-in thingy. We could do that and then just have like supplies and maybe like a dog bowl or something. They have a cat or a dog. Um, look at this cute little bed I got. Look how cute this is. It's a little cat bed. I think this is so cute. It comes in different colors too. Like this is so cute. Anyways, um, yeah. I can get a dog bowl or a cat bowl or whatever and put it over here. And that can be their little area. And then there's just this thing over here for cleaning up. Or even like, um, the aprons or whatever that can hang on the wall. Could do that instead. Where are those aprons? I think they're in wall decorations. I always like struggle to find places for the aprons when I'm building. I don't really know why. It doesn't feel like it's something that would be hard to place, but I, I just, I guess I tend to like cover every wall in a kitchen when I build usually. And so sometimes I struggle trying to find a place, like a blank wall in the kitchen that isn't filled with like cupboards or like something important. And I don't like to put um, like aprons down and then have a dog bowl underneath because I just feel like the dog's gonna get like stuff on where the aprons are. Um, and I don't like to put trash cans like right below the aprons because I feel like that's also dirty. It might be an OCD thing because um, I have that. <laughs> Unfortunately, so that might just be my um, OCD thinking that, but for some reason it like bothers me to have it there. So yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's do the double. Hey, why isn't that? Oh, do I have to put this in a counter first? Oh, I think I do. Okay, we'll put one there then. And then let's go back to the kitchen and then put the one in here. It kind of click. All EA stuff does this where it kind of like shifts over for absolutely no reason. I don't know why they made everything do that. It's kind of weird. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Like when you place fridges and stuff, like, or even counters, like you see how it's like going into the wall a little bit. Like if I wanted to like place it properly, it would just like have to move all this over slightly. 
because otherwise it like goes inside of the wall i don't know why they did that with this game but they did that so we just have to like shift things around okay does this come in a different color yeah i don't think it does okay that's fine I don't like that these are kind of like a bluey, silvery kind of color. Maybe I'll make them dark. Um, okay, now we need a stove top. Should we do this or should we do something more? Should we go for something a little bit more um, like typical, like the full thing? But you already have like two here. It feels kind of overkill to just like have another full one. So I don't know if I should do that. I don't know if it's like doing too much. Oh, it's like disappearing. Sometimes if you have auto counters on and like you try to put like um, like a CC, um, what's it called, a hob? It'll like do this and be glitched out. But if you turn auto counters off, then it doesn't do it. I have no idea why <laughs> that's a thing. Um, but it is something so if you've been struggling with that Like the countertop still is disappearing just turn auto counters off and then it should work It's like annoying and I don't know why that happens, but it's just a quirk. It's just a quirk one of the many We'll just put the fire thing there. I hate this little I don't know this like bothers me. I don't like looking at it I just think it's ugly and I guess in most at least houses where I live and like where I've lived um, they always are like on the ceiling, so they're kind of like out of sight, but the ones in the game are on the wall. I don't know if that's more common in the US, maybe, but yeah, I don't really like it. I'm just gonna move this over. They can have like the family board here. Yeah, that can go there. And then this is quite the large kitchen like that's a lot of space so it's either we do a kitchen table like smack dab in the middle i'm just gonna grab a random chair we're just looking at like the sizing i look at me being like oh we're just gonna grab a random chair and then being very picky about it but i'm just gonna grab a couple chairs and just see like how big this looks in here Hmm, how many people are in this house? One, two, three, four, five. There's five people in this house. So we would have to have a table that fits five for the family. So it doesn't really, we'd have to have a bigger table, but I don't know if that's gonna look weird in this space. Cause it's either we do a table or we just do kitchen island counters. We could do that, let's see. You know those kitchens? I, I mean, like, maybe some of you have watched it, but you know those, like, tours on YouTube? Where they'll, like, go into, like, mansions and stuff and be like, this is a $25 million mansion in LA or, like, whatever. And they'll show, like, these kitchens and they have, like, a double island. Like, it's literally, like, an island that's this size. Which is, like, honestly, like, huge. Like, that's a big island. And then they'll just have, like, another island. Like, if this room went, like, longer, they would have another island on this, like, an again. And I just don't understand what that is. Like, it, it's so weird looking to me. I don't think it suits any kitchen, no matter how much space you have and, like, how expensive it looks. I think it looks stupid. I don't know why you have two sets of like double counters i always think it looks strange every time but they seem to like be doing that quite a bit at least in the videos that i saw of like mansions and stuff like that um yeah i didn't love them i don't think we're gonna use this light in here i just kind of threw it in here so that it wouldn't be super dark um yeah that's fine it's very cold right now, this color palette, which isn't my usual taste. But something that I'm trying to do more is like 
Um, especially with, like, my legacy family that I've been playing for, like, five, like, four years? Four years, I think? Um, is, like, try and put the sim personalities in there instead of just what I like. Because I usually just would decorate each house of, like, each generation and, like, air how I like it to, like, decorate things. And then I realized that that doesn't really make sense for some of their personalities. Um, so I try to be, like, more... Um, accommodating to how I think like the sim would actually decorate their house whether it's like in my style or not so some people will be like they'll like a lot of black or they'll like um, like muted tones or they'll like more modern vibes um, which is like not as much in my taste and then yeah it just like helps for like the you know the personality of the sim it helps that to come through into the house and be a little bit more like authentic to that person um, or that sim and their personality. So that's what I'm trying to do like when I'm building stuff in this like save is try and make it look like obviously different sim families live in different houses and they have different tastes and stuff like that so it's not gonna all look the exact same. Um, yeah that's a goal of mine because I do tend to stay in the same kind of like um, I don't know, style, I guess, of house. But yeah, I'm trying to break out of that. We're just gonna put a couple kitchen decorations and pull them out. I think another thing I'm kind of struggling with in this save is trying to find a balance between like making a house look lived in um, without looking too cl like cluttered and messy and then slowing down the game. Um, but also being careful not to use like too much custom content um, because I am obviously using it in the save because it's been too long that this game has been out and I'm tired of the content that's in the game so I want to use something different um, so I want to use custom content in the save but at the same time I also want it to run well because it's annoying when I'm trying to load into like a lot or something and it's taking like a minute to load in because there's too much stuff so I'm I'm trying to keep it to a reasonable amount basically is what I'm trying to say um, I definitely want to have it look lived in but I also want it to be um, functional and playable because that's important so yeah that's kind of the vibe I'm trying to go for I'm just kind of moving everything around different places but it's also kind of annoying that these are like all different colors because the lighting's so inconsistent. I wish that would be fixed. It's been like that for a hot minute, but they haven't really fixed it. So there's always like weird lighting quirks um, in the game. Hmm. We'll just go with that one. But yeah. Um, so I'm trying to find a balance. Like I said. And hopefully I do find it. Because I'm already finding like the area that I built in my... Actually I'll show you guys like a little updated version of that. Because I did go and change up a couple things from the last video. Um, in the neighborhood we were in. We were obviously like not in that neighborhood. As you can see. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, I did change a couple things in there, so I think we'll go... I'll go and, like, show you guys some stuff that I updated and kind of just explain where my head's at. Um, because I did change some things and I was wondering how people might think about it, but yeah. Um, I don't know what else to put in here, to be honest with you. I'm kind of struggling. I guess this would be cute. Maybe some other ones over there. I don't know. I don't know what else to put in here. Um, I wonder if we should put... I wonder if I should put... Um, actually, do these come in an island counter? It does, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it does. Right? Like an island counter version? Wait, does it? I could have sworn it did. Oh wait, maybe it doesn't. 
Wait, what is this? Oh, it's the oven base for that. Well, too late. Okay, yeah, wait. Okay, yeah. It does come in an island. Maybe I should do um, an island kind of sitting area for this side. So that in the morning, when they're trying to like get out the door for school and everything, they can just eat breakfast really quick and be out the door. I'll put that there. There's also like enough room, I feel like, so... And then we can put a sink over there. I think that works. We could put the sink over here, but it makes sense to have the sink there because they usually put sinks like near a window or facing out towards like people, like a sitting area so that like, you can like converse with people while washing stuff or doing dishes or whatever. Um, so yeah, probably gonna keep that there. I think that's nice. These are kind of really bright for this room. I guess I'll just do it in the boring color. Let's do some blinds, maybe. Do we like that? I mean, for a kitchen, maybe you would have that. Curtains. I mean, you could have both, honestly. Some people have both. Let's see. I don't think they go wider than- yeah, I think this is the widest one that they have. I mean, we could do that. Could do both. Or is that too much? Hmm. I'm gonna leave it here for now, and then if I hate it, we'll, I'll take it away. I think this is fine. Nice little kitchen area. Got all your stuff. This person obviously likes to cook, because they have quite a big kitchen, and they have like double stoves. Something that they invest time in, and money in. So yeah, I guess this sim likes to cook a lot. Good for them. I am not a person who likes to cook, unfortunately. I like to eat, that's kind of my thing. <laughs> um, I much prefer to eat the food and enjoy that than um, making it because I don't think I'm that good at cooking. I'm not terrible at cooking, but I don't think I'm that good at it and I don't find it enjoyable. I find cooking very stressful. I get really stressed out cooking and so, and I feel like it's one of those things where you kind of have to be good at it to want to do it because it takes so long. So like if you're going to take like two hours to make a good meal or two hours to make a meal and then it's not good, then it just feels like a waste of time. Um, but obviously if you're like good at cooking, then it, it's like a rewarding thing because you get to eat the masterpiece that you've made after. But um, I'm kind of an average to almost terrible cook. <laughs> So, um, I don't really enjoy cooking. I find it, the multitasking aspect of it kind of stressful. Um, like if you have like th two pots of different things and then something in the oven and then you have to like chop this up but then you have to stir that and like, I don't know, I'm, I'm not good at like pacing out the ingredient times and stuff like that. So I just get really stressed and I find it stressful. So I'm not a cooking kind of person, but I wish I was. It would be very convenient to be a person who loves to cook and who's good at it, but it just wasn't meant to be. Like, I'm just not, <laughs> I'm not that person, unfortunately. Um, I still obviously, like, make things. I'll still cook. I'll still cook for my family. Um, but I just, like, don't enjoy doing it. So, yeah. I wish I could. Maybe it's just like a practice thing, but I mean, if I haven't gotten it yet at this point, I feel like I'm just not, I feel like it's just not going to happen for me. And it's not even just like, oh, maybe like cooking's not your thing, but it's like baking's your thing. But like, I don't like to bake either. Um, just like, I don't know, in general, I just find it really, I just find it really hard for some reason. Um, like multitasking and dividing my brain up in those ways and it's weird because I can multitask for different things outside of cooking but I can't do it for cooking specifically so there's something like specific with cooking that my brain has a hard time like wrapping itself around I don't know why though 
Um, if you have tips for that, let me know because I do want to not, I would like to not hate. Wait, I would like, yeah, no, that was right. <laughs> I would like to not hate cooking. Um, it would make life a lot easier because I truly just sometimes avoid <laughs> cooking because I don't want to have to do it, which is not good. So if you have tips for, you know, liking cooking and like how to not feel stressed out doing it, then leave the tips in the comments below. And if you're someone who likes to cook or to bake, then tell me your favorite like thing that you like to make. It's always fun. People always have cool recipes and stuff. Yeah, let's see. Is this like too modern of a rug? It's like really cute. That's a cute rug. I like terrazzo style things, um, like for tiles or just like the pattern itself. But is it like, I don't know. I like to try and keep things a little bit cohesive. I think it's fine. I don't think that looks bad. The only thing is this wall comes out here and that's gonna bother me. So I have to find out some kind of orientation that I like for this room. I guess I could put the TV in kind of like a corner a little bit. Hmm. Because then the orientation could go this way. I probably have to size that in a specific way with the tool mod. And then I could put, I'm just going to put this over here. Like this kind of vibe but then i'd have to size this a specific amount um let's do this oh that's a good size see it's kind of going underneath the fireplace and it's gonna catch fire i think i could move this like that hmm Maybe this rug orientation is really taking me out. Hmm. What should we do here? Could we maybe take this window out and then do a corner thing here? I mean, we're gonna have to make it a two tile, and that's gonna take up a lot of space in here. Hmm, but does it fit better? Because of this weird little angle I did stuff on. Oops. Maybe like that? TV there? No, hate that. There's not enough room there. Um, I don't know if I'm liking that to be honest. No, no, I don't like that. Hmm. Like I could leave this here and have this gone. Or actually, I like that table in this house for some reason. So I could just leave this and then have the TV that is doing this because it's like tilted down. I could do that. I know it's like a faux pas or whatever to have a TV above the fireplace, but if it's angled down, it doesn't count. So... Some books on there. Do we like this rug? Do we think that this is too like, I don't know, youthful or something for this house? Cause it has like a bunch of kids. And I mean, I don't think, I think it's fine. Should we do a round table in here? Hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think having mixed wood tones makes sense for a family house because most people don't have stuff that matches all the way unless they got it from like a furniture store or whatever. But not everyone has that kind of vibe going on. Should we do that? It mixes with like the colors in the rug. It feels harmonious. I feel like this is a different kind of, I feel like it's kind of a bluey. Trying to match like this little, that kind of tone in the rug. This kind of matches that, I think. And there's also this tone in the rug as well. So I could either do that kind of light color or I could do, which one did I do? This one? What does it look like with the kitchen? I mean, I think either one goes together. I think this one matches a little bit more with the kitchen. Maybe we'll go with that one. That's cute. Okay. Maybe I'll change the color of this light then. This. Hmm. This one, should I do black? Actually, I like the black one. I think we'll do that. We'll go for that and then maybe have a table, a side table. Should we have the side table where the chair is? We could put one there. That could be something that we do. These little cute little plants. Those are nice. I feel like I got that plant pack. What's it called? Blooming rooms. And I don't use like the weirder stuff in it as much. Oh, these are cool paintings. Kind of like that. Should we do... Let's do that one. That's kind of cool. Maybe do like a, some kind of radio or stereo kind of thing. Hmm. I always like to think about like if the Sim family, like the parents or whatever, are the kind of parents that have like the toys in the living room or if they're the parents that are like, you take literally everything in your room and there's like no, like you can't, you wouldn't even tell that they have a kid basically. Because I feel like that's kind of like the two kinds of parents where they'll have like, it's either they have like the stuff everywhere because like the kids live there and that's like just how it is. Or they're like, we don't want a trace of you in here. <laughs> um, I'm sure there's other types too, but those are the ones that I'm the most familiar with. I was definitely a leave it everywhere kind of kid. I mean, we had like a attic where we had like a lot of our toys and stuff like that. Um... And that's like the main area that we had them. I think it was like the attic in the basement actually. And then in like the main areas we didn't, we like had our toys there, but it wasn't like the main areas where we played with them, if that makes sense. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a mixed bag. But yeah, I think that like my cousins had like a playroom specifically for obviously like playing in and stuff like that. And then um, my other cousins had like a specific area in the basement where they kept all their stuff. So I think it's like, it just depends on the family. Someone else just had their stuff like in the living room. So it depends on that. But sometimes I just like to think about that. Like, is this the kind of some family that would have it out and about? Or are they the kind that would be like, put everything away? And it's like all in just like the rooms. I'm kind of getting the vibe. But this person would not want it in the main area. So I think we're probably going to just leave the twins stuff in their room. Because I think that's where they would keep it, I think. Um, yeah. We could put something over here. Maybe a piano or something. Like a standing piano. Maybe the kids get lessons. Or like one of them does. Maybe one of them's like really musical. And the other one isn't. Or maybe they're both musical and they want to like start a band or something, which we don't have in the game. I won't go on a tangent about that because I know I do that a lot. <laughs> but my goodness, please let us have bands 
It's all I want. We got a pack about the Grim Reaper before we got a pack about bands. Like, that's crazy to me. Like, why can't we have bands, please? Yeah, I think that's... I think that's nice. There's a nice little piano there. I think that's laid out pretty well. I think it makes sense. I don't love entering... I don't really like to enter into rooms, like, to the back of the couch. It's not my favorite thing, but it just... it happens sometimes, so... We'll live with it. It's fine. Um... Yeah, I think that's this room. So there's the kitchen, the living room, that entrance area, and then I put the dining room in here. I just kind of put these in here as a placeholder, but I might actually use this table. It's kind of nice. And I feel like I don't use this table that often. I don't think I'd use these chairs though. I don't think they suit, oops. I don't think they suit the vibe as much. So let's find some chairs that I think would fit better. Maybe even these base game chairs, actually. Surprisingly. I, like, literally never use these chairs. But I think they kind of fit. I think it kind of fits, actually. We'll use those. And then... Have some picture frames up here. Do some curtains over here. Wait, where are they? There we go. Oh, that's a little bit. There we go. Yeah, we'll do a little rug underneath, just for some extra glamour. What kind of color should we go for? Maybe a brown one? Let's see what else we got. Hmm. We have the floor in there. These are kind of busy, like this rug's kind of busy and this tile's kind of busy, so maybe I should make this a little less you know, in your face and like with a lot of geometric kind of things and just do something a little bit more simple. Ooh. What is this? Wait, let me pull this out. Oh, it's got like animals on it. Wait, that's cute. Wait, this would go so nicely in like Selva Dorado living room or something. Ooh, and the colors in it. Ooh, got some ideas. <laughs> I like that rug. Okay, probably not for this house, but I do like that rug. So I'll try to keep that in the chamber of my mind so I can remember it the next time um, that I'm building. I don't think that's too busy. Is it the vibe though? This is so like fun. Should I change this rug? I really like the color of it though. I don't know if it's, like, too fun, though. I'm not saying that this person isn't fun that lives in this house. But I just don't know if they're that... I don't know. I like this rug, too, actually. I also like this one, but not for this room. That's kind of interesting. But it's too stripey with everything else. It's very vertical. I could do something more neutral like that. Hmm. Because I do like that rug. It just, for some reason, the terrazzo rug gives me, like, younger person in, like, an apartment kind of energy for some reason. I think that's why I'm having second thoughts about it. Not that you can't be literally anybody else and use that rug, but it's just like the vibes that I'm getting for this house are different. I'm really struggling with this rug too. I don't know. I think that's fine. Let's just do that. Let's do that and... Hmm. Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe we should put a hutch in here. Put like a dining hutch. Maybe at the end, maybe you'll move this over here. Just so it frees up the space here in the corner to like move around because obviously people are coming in and out of the store. And then we'll put a dining hutch at the end of the thing. Not in that color. 
What color should I go for? Um, it's gonna be water black. It's not even really black, it's just kind of like a really dark chocolatey wood. Could do that. I actually don't hate the color of this with this like blue table. I think that kind of looks nice, actually. I don't know how I'm feeling about this rug. I'm really struggle bussing with this rug for some reason. Hmm. This is like this grayish blue color in it that kind of goes in there, but nowhere else in the house has that kind of, well, I guess like the chair in here has that sort of color in the plant thing and then the piano. Like it still is harmonious enough, I think. I think so. Yeah, we could leave it like that. Okay, we'll do that for now. Anything can change. Because I'm indecisive. Okay, cute. We could do that. Probably not use this light, to be honest. Um, how about this light? Yeah, that could be in there. That could be in there. I could honestly see that in the living room as well. Probably wouldn't have that at the front either. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. I'm not really sure what else. This is like a whole blank wall. Like, I guess you could do a bunch of different pictures or like maybe something like this. Hmm. Or you could do something dramatic. Maybe have like a mirror. But like in a decorative way. Cause obviously, where they are. I wonder if we could do something weird. Let's do something weird. If it looks ugly, then I'll delete it. Does that look terrible? Oops, let's, uh, I don't know. 0 0.5 Hmm, I don't know about that <laughs> You know what we try and we fail and that's okay because that's a part of life It's about the journey I mean, I don't hate that Just undid all of my hard work. Let me just lower it again. Negative five. Whoops, that's not. It was negative. Um, wait, no, 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 no. Wait, elevate. Okay, negative zero point five. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. And also, I think I'm gonna do wall sconce lights wall sconces on either side just to be dramatic just for the drama of it all yeah yeah we're gonna leave that also maybe I should leave because I, I put like a record player and this stereo in here so maybe we should like have a stereo maybe we'll do something else some kind of like music in here so that when they have like guests over they put smooth jazz on while they eat dinner hmm could use this retro one I could use that and play some music yeah we'll just leave that we'll just leave that there I think that's fine okay so that's the first floor. 
for now. For some reason, I'm having a really hard talking time. <laughs> How fitting. I'm having a really hard time talking um, today. So that might be what we furnish for today. And then we'll continue like the upstairs and like the outside and stuff in the next video. I think that's, that's good for now. I will quickly show you guys what I was talking about earlier when I said that I changed a couple things around from um, the other, from like the save file video that I did the other day. So we're gonna jump in there really quick. I'll show you what I changed. Okay, so as you can see, um, the houses that I built in, or like that I had built, and the last video are now gone. Um, the one that I built like in that video is still here, but I bulldozed these ones cause I wasn't, I started like furnishing the inside and then I got like, I don't know. I just started not liking them. So they got bulldozed and they're not here anymore. Um, it's possible that they're gonna come back. These are just here because I was placing other things around the world. So just ignore this. This isn't like what's going there instead or anything. Um, I was just like placing things around the world. Um, but yeah, the, the whole like idea with the park thing is still over here. I put like a couple things to see if the Sims could go and actually play in it. Um, there's not like a lot of Sims that were voluntarily like kid Sims, but that might just be because like there's not a lot of kids in the world. Um, so there wasn't a lot of like Sim kids playing here, but there was a lot of people going to the, um, lemonade stand that kind of like, you know, just spawns here. Um, automatically when you go in the game. So people were going to that. Oh, this tree's like cutting in here. I don't think I knew that. Anyways, yeah, people were definitely going to that. So I know that they like to go here. And so I was gonna like put a couple tables and stuff down, um, but I haven't done that yet. So that is still here. Um, and then we also, of course, have the, that little like kind of walkway that goes to where the school is. Ignore this. I know that looks terrible. I was trying to make a parking lot. Um, and so, and but the ground's like literally uneven. Like there's parts in the ground that like go up. So the, and not everything's even for some reason. Like the terrain is different. So as you can see, some things are like low key kind of like floating. I was just like experimenting over here, but then I found that out. And then I got upset and I gave up as you can see, because <laughs> I got frustrated. Um, so that's gonna like, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do here, but I wanted it to be like a thing where like obviously the buses go and like drop the kids off at school and then like somewhere for the teachers to park and like where the kid, the like kids' parents and stuff come and like maybe drive in. Um, so that's what was supposed to go here, but I'm not sure how I'm going to lay this out. This is probably something that's gonna be done off camera because I know it's gonna make me frustrated. <laughs> so it's gonna like take me a second. Um, but yeah, then there's just like some neighborhood houses that I have lined up here. I was trying to do like driveways and stuff. Um, but then I realized that if they have driveways, then I have to put a road through here instead of a sidewalk because that makes zero sense to like have no road. So then I was like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to delete everything, put a road in. So yeah, this is like, you know, a stressful area for me right now. So I haven't really touched it, but it was supposed to be like a road, I should put road, um, parking spots, trees, and then some kind of like drop off area. And then I was going to do like this fenced in area that would be like a little like playground thing, um, where the kids obviously go and like have recess and stuff. So that's, that's like the energy that I was trying to go for. But, um, over here, so you might remember the last time I had actually put like a bunch of like buildings over here and now those are gone. And instead we have this kind of park area. Um, I decided uh, to change it after I saw, oh my goodness, wait, I can't remember the person. Okay, if I remember the channel, I'm gonna go and try and find the channel's name and put it up on the screen. Um, but I came across this video of someone making a save file and they put like a, it was like not like a fully like furnished park but they just kind of put this like park over here with like some benches and like um i think this little like i forgot what it's called like a gazebo thing and i was like oh that's so smart and then i realized that they have like paths like underneath these stones that i placed down there's like the, the actual paths from like the game here um that go like i guess it was like in between the houses that were originally put here but I put these down because they're so low quality that they look absolutely terrible. Like someone actually like just barfed on it. Like it looked really bad. <laughs> so I covered them up with these um, like sidewalk tiles. So um, there's like the entrance to the park and then you can come here 
and like there's like the fountain over here um like in the middle of the park I, I was trying to go for like sims 3 kind of vibes because i love that game i've actually been playing that recently um and it's a lot of fun and it's kind of stressful because i had triplets and it was not planned to have three babies but you know it's fun um so i was trying to go for like um the kind of parks that they do in the sims 3 where it's kind of like divided up into like a like four areas and then like the fountain in the middle um so yeah that's what i have and then there's also like a, a cc pack thing that came out i think it's called backyard carnival i think it's from sepsid if i'm not mistaken but um in one of a vid like save file videos that i'm gonna do with you guys i'd like to build like a little like carnival area so it feels like the sims 3 um seasons festivals that we used to have because i miss those so much in the game honestly um the ones from city living i feel like they're kind of trying to like go for that vibe from the sims 3 um seasons but it just doesn't feel the same um but the backyard kit that sepsid did i'm pretty sure it was sepsid i hope that's right <laughs> um but yeah um this backyard kit that they did it has like a whole bunch of like activities and stuff and like prizes you can win so i thought that kind of fit being here so i don't know what quadrant i'm gonna put it in like whether it's gonna be over here or over there or whatever but yeah that's the kind of vibe and then obviously there's like openings to go into like the town area um these are obviously just like shell buildings but this theater is actually gonna be functional because i use the um, this like sign thing that's like on it, I had to tool place it um, on the building. It's actually by Ravishine. And if you have Growing Together, um, you know how like they had like the theaters that are in um, San Sequoia. Um, yeah, they basically made it so if you click on this, then your Sims can go and see movies. So that is actually like a functional theater in that way. Um, and then obviously like these are just kind of like shell buildings. So yeah, it's just supposed to be like a little like town area. Um, and I got really inspired by that video because I was like, oh my goodness, I could put a park here. I didn't even know that these sidewalks lined up that way, like in this kind of like T formation or like X formation to make quadrants. And I was like, that's literally perfect for like a Sims 3 style park. So that is what I put there instead. And I hope no one's disappointed, but I personally like it better. And I like the idea better because I want it to feel as open world as humanly possible in this game. Um, and then also I put a bus stop here and it's functional because I also have Ravishine's bus stop thing mod CC that they have. So if you click on this board here on the side, it will actually like have your sim pay, I think it's like five simoleons or 10 simoleons or something to go on bus rides to different parts of the world. Um, so yeah, that's cool. And then I just put like some buildings um, around over here. Sorry, my camera is kind of slow. Um, I put some like shops and stuff over here. Obviously still work in progress and everything's perfect, but um, Yeah, I just thought it'd be cute to have little stores and stuff on the side where people go and get stuff um, and then If we just if this camera cooperates, okay um, Yeah, and then as you can see over here, there's like a grocery store and I put these little like carts out or like i don't know what they're called like these little shopping things um and they have like fruits and vegetables and stuff on them and they are um functional so if you go and you click on them your sim it'll like bring up the menu for like when you go to those stalls and like sand my shoe now and like you can buy ingredients and stuff um to like make food that comes up if you click on them so it's kind of like a functional grocery store in a way so like this whole area will obviously be like a neighborhood a park that you don't have to go through a like you know loading screen for a schoolyard that you don't have to go through lo loading screens for um a park that you don't have to go through a loading screen for a theater that you don't have to do it for and then also grocery shopping and then if we go over here just behind like this like where the park is like this shopping kind of center area there is this kind of like parking lot that's like fenced in and then i put like this cute little like soccer like stadium thing where like they play games and stuff so like games from the town team i guess i don't know <laughs> happen here um there's like the scoreboard and then i was gonna put like benches in here for like the sims to be in i was thinking they would use it for baseball and for soccer but i don't have any baseball stuff i don't know if there's cc for baseball stuff so i guess that's 
um, optional. I put a little bathroom here. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it there, like in that spot. This is like where the opening is to go into, like from where the parking lot and like the sidewalk is to go into the kind of, you know, not stadium, but like this grass area. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna keep the bathroom there. I might move it, but for now, this is what it's looking like. And I kind of like it. I was also gonna put, I tried for the longest time to put a tunnel here. Cause there's like this tunnel that's in debug and it goes like as it like fades into the tunnel it looks it's like darkened and black so you can't really see in and i wanted so badly to put a tunnel here but every single thing that i tried did not work so i had to give up <laughs> and i put these rocks here instead and like some trees and stuff um so it'll just like lead off into the like nothingness but i mean you can't really see it when you're playing like in this area anyways so i think that's fine um but yeah that's kind of like the things that I changed so far, I honestly like this version of it a lot more than just having like a bunch of like tool placed houses that aren't usable. I think it just makes the game a lot more open and like have more usable space. So yeah, that's what I've done so far um, in here. And the um, obviously like the house that we're working on in this video, um, I'll try and finish it maybe in the next video. Um, and yeah, then that will be put up for download that house. And you can stick around for more of these, like, little save file, um, diary journal things <laughs> with me in these videos. But anyways, I gotta head out and maybe eat some chocolate because I got a box of chocolates and I'm craving them. <laughs> so I'm gonna go do that, drink some water, and, um, I'll see you guys next time in the next video.